So this is one of the video of the whole STL algorithm series. And if you want to check that series, you can go ahead and check that. So this is about this binary search. So binary search, like little recap, we all know that if your input is sorted like this, one, three, four, five, nine, then if you will apply search, you should apply binary search because it is actually very fast, like the fastest. So in our programming world, we do have so many situations where your data would be sorted and then you have to apply binary search because you would know that, okay, I have to apply a binary search. But the problem is there that you may have to write your own binary search, but not anymore because now in C++, you do have binary search in STL algorithm. So obviously you have to include this in order to get this one. And the best part is like, you can give like from here to here. I mean, this is your start and this is your end. You can specify that when you're doing this. And how would you do that? Like vector dot begin will actually give you an iterator. You can ask that iterator to increment it by two. So it will point this guy, I mean four. And like that, you can change this also. Like you want to maybe start from here and you just want to look till here. So all those things are also possible with this. And you forgot like why binary search is like very good for searching the sorted data. Let me remind you that. So if you start binary search, what happens? You have a start and end, and then you start looking in the middle. And let's suppose you are looking for some X number. You can compare that number with the middle number of this start and end. And then you would know that where can I probably get this number? So if let's suppose this X is equal to three, then your new array would be from one to five now because three lies, I mean, three is less than five. So it is obvious that it will be in the left hand side. And let's suppose if your X was maybe seven, not your X, but the number. So in that case, your next iteration, next operation would be to start from here to here, because you know that seven is greater than five. So that's why there is an elimination of half of the search space. That's why it's order of log n base two. Why two? Because you are eliminating half in each iteration. That's why this two is there. Let me quickly run this and we'll sum this up. So see, it was trying to search one, it could found one and then searching for two, but two doesn't exist in this vector. So it could not found and then searching for three, it actually found three. So like I have this numbers, like I want to search in this. So I'm iterating over these numbers and just trying to find these numbers one by one in the given vector. Cool, right? So if you like the video, don't forget to share it with your friends. And if you want to see like what are different algorithms available in this algorithm series, you can check my playlist. So thanks for watching guys. Bye bye. Take care.